described and likely it will, one can only imagine what evidence we have yet to see during impeachment proceedings against 45 with, with each new tranche of evidence, including emails regarding the hold on military aid to Ukraine, and now documents from the Parnas associate of, 40, of 45's lawyer, Dumbass Giuliani. The conclusion that 45 abused power in obstructing the investigation becomes incontrovertible. The Post reports the House committee sent dozens of pages of new evidence to the House Judiciary Committee ahead of Wednesday's transmission of the articles of impeachment, ramping up pressure on 45 to provide Congress with additional documents related to his efforts to get Ukraine to announce an investigation into the Bidens. The documents include handwritten um, notes like Get Zelensky to announce that the Biden case will be investigated, referring to Ukrainian Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky and former Vice President Joe Biden, and text suggesting that then U.S. Ambassador to, U um, to Ukraine Marie Yanovich was under surveillance. She was later removed from her post and was warned to leave Ukraine immediately. Political, political national security reporter Natasha Bertrand explains this certainly makes it sound like Parnas and company were actively tracking Yanovich's Yov movements. This could explain why Yanovich was moved out of Ukraine so quickly. This is unprecedented and should be deeply disturbing to all U.S. diplomats. They should not expect Secretary of State, Secretary of State, sorry, Mike Pompeo, who refused to defend Yovanovitch and has participated in the cover-up by, by, by refusing to provide documents or testimony to do much of anything. I wouldn't expect 45 and any of us blowers to do anything because they don't do shit at all. They just sit on their ass all day not doing anything except for committing crimes. Even more stunning, the Post reports that the messages written in, in Russian now Ukraine's former prosecutor general Yuri Lutsenko urging Parnas to force out Yovanovitch in exchange for co cooperation regarding Biden. At one point, Lutsenko um, suggests he won't make any helpful pub won't make any helpful public public statements unless Madam is removed. Firing an ambassador in exchange for political help would be another bribe, i.e., a public act to get a private benefit. There was also a letter dated May 10th, 2019 from Dumbass Giuliani to Zelensky introducing himself as, as acting with 45's knowledge and consent and requesting the meeting. This meshes with 45's later directive that U.S. officials and Zelensky should talk to Rudy, the dumbass Rudy Giuliani. The notion that the holdup is in, in aid was motivated by genuine concern for fighting corruption was always implausible. Now it's veritable smoking guns. Popping up left and right, several things should be obvious. First, 45 wanted an announcement of an investigation into a political opponent and was willing to hold up aid in defiance of advice that such an action um, could be legal. Second, 45 directed dumbass Giuliani and the freeze on the aid. This was no rogue action. Third, 45 has been struggling to keep damaging documents and incriminated witnesses away from the public and Senate. The only reasonable explanation is that as bad as these documents are for 45, there are still more damning accounts and witnesses under wraps. Constitutional scholar Lawrence Tribe tells me the new evidence is draw dropping and highly incriminating of both 45 and, um, and Dumbass Giuliani. Tribe says it's bound to find its way to, into the Senate trial after Harness is deposed by the House Judiciary and Intelligence Committee. As he's bound to be, Tribe continues the, um, the, dump, the Dumbass Giuliani letter presenting himself to Zelensky as representing 45 and his private capacity at a time when Zelensky was the president-elect of Ukraine is remarkable in itself. It is kind of a hologram of the whole U of the Ukraine gate scandal. But several Republicans purportedly willing to vote for um, to vote for witnesses. Senator Mitt Romney of Utah has said publicly he wants to hear from former National Security Advisor John Bolton. The newest document drop puts additional pressure on Republicans to demand documents and witnesses. Former Prosecutor Joyce White Vance observes, the Parnas evidence needs to be assessed for authenticity and reliability. She stressed that the American people also need to know the truth about um, that the American people also need to know the truth about what happened. These allegations are serious, and if true, it makes it difficult to understand how the squatter can be trusted to remain in office. Hold on a second. <clears throat> the delay by by House um, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who's a Democrat from California, and sending the articles over has allowed to has allowed more evidence to surface. The public pressure to build for a real trial it has already prompted one Republican to ask for at least one witness. The risk for Republicans is clear. If they fail to turn over every rock, find every document, subpoena every witness, and decide to acquit even more evidence incriminating 45, and making clear they effectively aided in a cover-up is bound to come out. Even though the House has produced a compelling record, it's clear there are mountains of evidence still to be uncovered in this case, says former Justice Department spokesman 
um, Matt Miller. That evidence is all going to come out over the next few months, and any senator who votes to quit 45 is going to own each new revelation. The key question for Republican senators is whether they want to risk their political careers helping an unpit 45 escape responsibility for the worst conduct by any squatter in history. Yep.